Hi, I'm Steve McCord, Cattaraugus County Director of Veteran Services, and this is Our Veterans, Their Stories, Preserving Our Heroes' Stories, One Story at a Time. veteran you're about to hear, Franklin Green, it's a tough video to listen to because he suffered from a traumatic brain injury when he was in. That was over 50 years ago when he had the TBI. And he tries to tell his story, but he's having memory issues. But it's important that you listen and see what a TBI, traumatic brain injury, can do to someone. Thank you. My half-brother enlisted and he was in there too, so it, it just kind of a uh, get together type thing, I guess, if that's what you want to call it, you know. But where where did they send you for your basic training? Down in the Carolinas. Camp Lejeune. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and what was your MOS? Well, well, really, I had two MOSs. I had when I went in and had an MOS for I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> Brain injury don't really kick in once in a while, you know. But yeah, I was when I went to Marine Corps. I was uh, I was a I was a mechanic. So it was mechanic and. And I got moved around quite a bit there from being that mechanic, going here, going there, and doing this and doing that. And they put me on a, I was up at Don High, and while I was up there, belonging to their motor pool up there, I, uh, they took me away from the MOS there because they was feeling I was getting so I wasn't capable of doing what I should do, see. But that wasn't the case, but <laughs> that's what they figured. And uh, Yeah, when I was when I was up at out of Camp Lejeune, then I went up to Were you still in the States? <coughs> or, or or had they shipped you overseas? No, I was still in the States. Okay. And uh yeah, they left me in the States, and I'm trying to get this together because I know. Right, right. <laughs> and I just, <laughs> if I could get it in an order where I could click it together, you know. But I don't know why, why it's not going there. <laughs> When I finally went in there and I had my marbles about me and stuff, I liked it because I was strong and strong-willed and everything. 
and so that that wasn't too bad. But I didn't like some of it because the, I was I was brought up on a farm with my folks. You know what I'm saying? And I was going through a time in my life where I had to. And actually, a lie to that's why I can't get nothing straight anymore because I try to make things the way they should be. You know what I mean? Uh, but your injury, so you're, uh, you're, uh, TBI happened while you were in the Marines. What do you mean by that? Uh, you, when your head injury, did 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 uh, did you injure your head while you were in the Marines? Yeah. What happened there? Are you willing to talk about that? Yeah, if I remember it all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I I got quite a entry in there and I think it was approximately six, six or eight weeks I was in there that I was unconscious see and so they just let me float around a little bit there and stuff. And that was funny because while I was in there, they, of course, he was talking to me and this and that and the other. And what's the thing is, here I was in there, couldn't remember nothing from anywhere. And I was in there and all of a sudden, something broke loose in my mind and, and I had some brains. You know, was <laughs> I don't know how many or whatever, but that's what it was to come back. See, it's never coming all the way back, but it's back so far. And you were in the Marines for two years, correct? Four. Four years. Four years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah. so. So did did you ever go overseas, or were you in the states the entire time? No, I went to Vietnam. You went to Vietnam. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what what were your impressions of Vietnam? Tell us some stories about when you were over there. In Vietnam. Yes. I uh, had been awful hard question. Had been awful hard to say because. That was a whole different ball game there when you're over there where the Viet Cong are and this and that and the other. Your whole your whole atmosphere changes. You know, and me I didn't like that because it was putting me off my mentality of what was going on. If that sounds right, I don't know, but yeah, I and I didn't like that whatsoever. And another thing, when they when they went to bring me back out of this five and ten cent the old old thing here, they well, I don't I don't know. When you when you got out of the Marines, yeah. did you come back up here to New York or did you go somewhere else? When I got out of the Marine Corps? Yes. No, when I got out of the Marine Corps, I went up to a place uh, that was Canandaigua Lake, it was. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that's my dad. Had a vineyard there, you know, and so 
I went up there and worked with him for a while. Okay. And man, him and I got along pretty good. But, did you did you use your GI Bill at all? No, I don't believe I did. Okay. Did you use the VA? I don't know for sure if I did or not. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I yeah, don't. That's, that's fine. That's 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 fine. That's fine. Do you do you regret joining the Marine Corps? Really and truthfully. <laughs> yeah, I understand, sir. No, I don't. I don't regret going in there because it kept me alive. Okay. You know, I, people might think that's dumb, but that's what kept me alive over there. Is being in the core, see. Yeah, sure. And uh, that's the only thing that happened that was actually good for me. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it's having this brain injury and everything is awful hard for me to get everything tied together. You know, which I'm right here talking to you, I'm talking to you, all that kind of stuff, and having a hard time getting it tied together. All that. That may seem funny to you, but. I'm sure not at all. Not at all. I, uh, and I don't like being in that position I was in from after when I was hurt and everything else because before I went in there, I had control of myself and what was going on, but. Uh, after that, I seem to have lost that part of my giddy up and go, or whatever you want to call it. But I was a pretty proud Marine, and I was proud of it, see. But I don't know. I know this is frustrating for you because of the memory. Is there anything else that you you want to add that, that you can remember? Well, of the memory of the Marine Corps? No, of your time in the service, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was in the Marine Corps and I had four different oh it's like back in Marine Corps you get you get a disciplinary set, you know what I mean? If they they wanna get you this and that and the other. And when I got into that and then I stayed into it, and when they would talk to me about this and about that, and <laughs> I didn't like them trying to deny what I was saying. I don't like, you know, if I'm going to say something, then I'm going to say it, you know what I mean? And I don't like to feel a commanding general or who he is. I just, uh, and I was raised that way, see. Your basic human respect. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. All right. Uh, any, anything else? I'm trying to. Well, I am. I'll tell you something. I am lost with this conversation we have, and, and I feel bad because I shouldn't feel lost. But I am, see, and I don't like being in that position, see, and... I, I, I think, though, 
that this is very important because your injury is internal. People may look at you and say, oh, there's nothing wrong with them. They, they don't understand what happens when, when, when you're injured or, or, or a traumatic brain injury. And when what happened, this happened in the 60s. You've, you've suffered with this for 50 some years. And, and it has to be very, very frustrating for, for you. And so this, anyone that chooses to, to, to watch your tape at the museum, it, it's gonna be invaluable because they're gonna see this is what happens. This will help them understand what it's like for someone that, that's had a brain injury. And, yeah. and so, so I do want to say thank you for that. Uh, you know, and I, I, I feel for you, I have empathy for you, struggling trying to remember. Uh, and I wish I, I could help you somehow, but I can't. But, but uh, thank you for doing this. No, I, um, I try to help myself as much as I can. Because I've always been a strong person, uh, person, and everything like that. Yes. And I really don't know what else to say. <laughs>